What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in collective energy. Anything you don't see coming, any updates or progress on your current situations, uh, the usual. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well, feeling blessed, highly favored. Um, I feel like I'm about to sneeze, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you guys are doing well, you know, feeling blessed, uh, having a good day, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do the Kelsey Cross. We're gonna do like the full reading. I'm going to do the mess deck. I'm going to do a prayer. I'm going to do some oracle. Um, I'm going to use the I kept tarot. I'm going to use the miscellaneous deck. And I'm also going to use the psychic tarot of the heart oracle. Um, it's uh, similar to the psychic tarot. It's pretty good. It's a good deck. Uh, just to see what we got going on. Um, let's get into it. I have pre-shuffle. Let's go. Present moment. Ten of Cups reverse. Queen of Swords reverse. So present moment, there is a distorted feminine energy. Queen of Swords reverse. This is feminine energy could be a man or a woman. Uh, this person is cold. They could be ruthless. They could be, you know, uh, vindictive, spiteful. Um, the nasty energy uh this could be somebody's karmic family member you know because ten of cups reverse ten of cups is the family card when it comes out reverse i get like karmic family this could also just be a distorted feminine energy that is absolutely miserable they're lacking emotional fulfillment they're lacking happiness peace right now i mean that could be the case as well but the, you know along with this being like a karmic family member of some sort um, immediate challenge karmic connection and four of pinnacles reverse came out so the immediate challenge is that somebody was a karmic connection more than likely this, this sort of feminine was a karmic to somebody and they've been released this is a challenge for them they're karmic so that somebody has released them or moved away from them. Uh, distant past. The chariot reverse. The world. So, uh, distant past. There's somebody here... Somebody could not move forward. Somebody didn't move forward. Somebody couldn't move forward. Because the cycle closed. Uh, the World Upright talks about completion. Could talk about travel, but I mean, we got the chariot reverse. So I don't think there's any travel. I think that somebody, could, they're unable to travel or they were unable to move forward, forward. Maybe because they missed a deadline. They missed their flight. Cycle closed. Could have been an opportunity lost. What is this? Black magic reverse. I saw this during the pre-shuffle as well. There was some type of energy manipulation, some type of negative intention that was set. And I feel like this could have been blocked. Blocked or returned. Blocked and or returned. Uh, five of swords. Legal issues, I don't know if I'll call it take that. Legal issues reverse came out with it. Five of swords. So there was some type of deception. Somebody closed the cycle because there was some type of deception, trickery, lies. Um, what's this black magic? Four of swords. I was asking what this black magic was. That's, it was either blocked or returned. Somebody could be healing. From some type of manipulation 
Or this could have been some type of manipulation to have somebody tired, have somebody's energy drained. This could have been like energy harvest of some sort. King of Pentacles reverse. Taurus energy could be any sign. Uh, Earth energy. Uh, King of Pentacles reverse. This is a masculine energy. Somebody that could be superficial. They can be materialistic. They could be taking a financial loss. Maybe because the cycle closed. This person was doing something deceptive. Maybe lying, cheating, stealing behind somebody's back. And I feel like because of that, a cycle's closed. Or it did in the in the distant past. Uh, recent past. Divine partner. Strength reversed. So in the distant past, there was somebody. There's a divine partner here. You know, kingdom spouse or whatever you want to call it. It's in the upright. Strength reverse, though. This is somebody distant past or recent past. Somebody could have been disloyal or lacked integrity. They lacked righteousness when it came to a divine partner. Soulmate. Yeah, two of cups. Six of wands. Got a lot of Leo energy out. Right here anyway. Strength and Six of Wands. So I feel like recent past, there was a, a somebody got a victory of some sort. Could be somebody in the public eye. Uh, could be you, you know. Uh, Six of Wands talks about victory, success, or recognition. You know, public recognition. Somebody in the spotlight maybe. So recent past, somebody either began to pursue a partnership with a divine partner, a relationship with a divine partner, or somebody somebody got with their person. It could have been a partnership, a relationship. I don't know. The strength reversing the six of wands. It's like somebody here is winning, but it's like. Knight of Cups. I feel like this, this, that's the Six of Wands is somebody else. Somebody could have been disloyal, you know, to a a winning energy. Somebody in the public eye, maybe. Somebody, somebody that could get a lot of recognition. Somebody could could have done something shady, something underhanded. Then we had Knight of Cups. This talks about, you know, this is uh, could be an admirer. Somebody that has love, genuine emotion for somebody else. This could also be somebody coming in with a love offer. Somebody coming in wanting to express some type of love. Maybe because you're winning. Definitely see that as well. Somebody was disloyal to you in the recent past. But this person might want to come in because they see you winning. You've, you've got a victory of some sort. So now they want to express, you know, some type of love, some type of emotion or sentiment. Uh... Best outcome, possible outcome. Queen of Wands. Leo, you know, we got a lot of Leo. Between Strength, Six of Wands, and Queen of Wands. Uh, Queen of Wands is feminine energy. It could be a man or a woman. This is somebody ambitious, driven, creative. Uh, like I said, it's Leo energy, fire energy. could be any sign. Um, the Vampire Reverse. So there's a Queen of Wands energy here that has either shed their vampire ways or they've released a, a vampire. Released a, a energy vamp. False person. Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, so somebody, uh, you know, best outcome, possible outcome, you know, somebody's getting released. Somebody that's getting released because they were a false person. They pretended. Uh, five of Cups reverse. I feel like whoever this is that this could be the vampire. This could be this Queen of Wands. I feel like if you know this Queen of Wands has moved away from a vampire. If that's you, you don't feel bad. There's no, you know, bad blood. There's no, you know, sadness, sorrow, grief, or anything. Like you don't feel bad about maybe releasing somebody, a false person. Immediate future. Ten of Swords reverse. Three of Swords reverse. 
So immediate future, I feel like there's a lot of healing going on between Three of Swords Reverse and Ten of Swords Reverse. There's a lot of healing, you know, uh, emotional healing, mental healing. Somebody could have avoided something really negative. Ten of Swords could be a painful permanent ending. It could be, you know, a physical ending um, or a really big betrayal. It's reversed because I feel like somebody, immediate future, somebody is healing from emotional pain, healing from, or avoiding, maybe avoiding a, a, some type of ending by healing. What is this? The lovers. Death reverse. There's somebody here that is doing, somebody is doing some healing. This could be you. This could be somebody in your energy. The lovers upright with death reverse. Somebody's focused on a love contract, a union of some sort, and they're they're not taking, they're not accepting a permanent ending. Death reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to be over. Uh, factors affecting the situation. Seven of Swords. Page of Swords reverse. So factors affecting factors affecting the situation. There's somebody here that is, I get off the seven of swords. You know, it talks about lying, cheating, and stealing. But I get somebody that's like, you know, creeping, like you know, spying and talking shit. Page of swords reverse. Well, no, that's stalking. That could be stalking as well. Page of swords reverse could be stalking, malicious gossip, and slander. And I get that off of the seven seven of swords or yeah, seven of swords. Somebody could be like stalking and meanwhile slandering, you know, talking shit about whoever they're stalking. Knight of Swords. Got a lot of swords right here. The Fool. I feel like somebody here wants to speak the truth. The Seven of Swords. Could be, you know, all this could all be the same person. Either somebody wants to speak the truth about something they did, some lies they told, some gossip they took part in, or they want to come in and they want to speak the truth about somebody else. Maybe somebody else who stole, somebody else who lied, cheated. This person wants to go a different way, the fool. They want to take a leap of faith, they want to go a different way. Outside influences. The moon. There's a lot hidden. A lot of things could be kept secret under wraps. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's hiding the fact that maybe they made a bad investment. They're taking a really big loss. They've, they've taken a really big loss. Page of Wands. This might be good news for you. Someone's loss is your gain. Somebody's definitely losing something. They've lo they're losing something or they've lost something and they're hiding this. I feel like they're keeping it, you know, secret. Three of Cups reverse. It's going to be a group. Several different people that are currently receiving bad luck. Bad karma. Um, hopes and fears. Innocence. King of Swords reverse. So I feel like somebody is hopeful that you know they can maintain some type of innocence. Maybe that you'll see them or view them as an innocent. You know, somebody who is hasn't done much wrong. Um, King of Swords reverse, masculine energy, Libra energy could be any sign. Uh, this person is a liar. Could be the same person that was released. Yeah, I feel like this person is they're either in balance right now, like they're in a really negative, toxic energy, or this is somebody still lying. Obsessed. But this person could also be fearful that you know they're seen as a liar. Then we have an Empress Reverse. Uh, this is Taurus energy, Libra energy. Um, you know, the Empress upright is represents abund abundance, creation, fertility, 
uh, reverse. This is like a lack of all that. There could be an Empress reverse that's obsessed. What's that obsession? Obsessed with being a hater. Page of Cups reverse. There's a distorted feminine energy that is obsessed with maybe talking shit, talking down. Um, yeah, talking about somebody that's innocent. Uh, final outcome. The devil reverse. Two of wands. So final outcome, there's somebody re maybe releasing some type of toxicity. This could be, it's Capricorn energy, the devil card there. Two of wands, somebody's planning something. Or they're making a choice, you know. Planning something maybe. Nine of Cups. Somebody could be, they're releasing toxicity, maybe moving away from a devil energy or energies. This is somebody who's going after wish fulfillment. Or they're receiving it. Somebody's receiving it. Temperance. Yeah, somebody could be, I don't know. I feel like this is another energy. Of course, this could be you. You know, temperance energy, temperance angel. This is somebody emotionally balanced. Uh, can rep this card represents patience and, um, you know, angels as well. So there could be an earth angel. Maybe somebody is balanced. This could be you. Um, receiving some type of wish fulfillment. What is this? Not, yeah, what's this sign of cups? Hidden enemy. Start to turn around. Hidden enemy. Tower reverse. I feel like dude, this is final outcome. Yeah, so it's like the wheel is turning into your favor. There could be a hidden enemy somewhere trying to avoid a tower. I feel like final outcome, you're going to get wish fulfilled, man. And whoever this is, you know, that's your, your enemy, your hidden enemy. This person's under judgment. You know, whether they've acknowledged this or not, I don't know. Yeah, Eight of Swords. And I immediately got like, somebody could be going to jail, going to prison for something. What is that? What's the Eight of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. This is falling out on top of Tower Reverse. You could have avoided Tower. You could be somebody single, uh, self-sufficient, independent, financially stable. Yeah, on top of this Eight of Swords reverse, or Eight of Swords, the Emperor reverse. Distorted masculine that's been a hidden enemy. Okay, this next goal, I want to go with the uh, Psychic Tarot. The Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Uh, present moment. Heart Chakra, reverse. Seek the truth, reverse. So we have heart chakra reverse and seek the truth, reverse. This is falling out on top of that queen of swords, reverse. That could have, could have been a karmic connection to somebody. I feel like this person's heart, maybe their emotions are closed off. Heart chakra could be blocked. Seek the truth, reverse. This is somebody who could still be under an illusion. They're not seeing something clearly. They're choosing not to. Uh, media challenge. Wrong way. Heal. So this, you know, definitely would be the challenge for somebody. You know, they, they need to do some healing. Balance their chakras. Clear their chakras. Seek the truth. This is somebody who maybe they don't have truth and they're not, they don't even care to seek it. At least not right now. Uh, healing is a challenge for this person. And coming together with somebody else. Uh, distant past. Flow. Reverse. And that's what I got. Like somebody was doing some type of black magic to maybe, you know, affect your, your sleep patterns. You know, to have it, have you tired, you know. 
maybe not, you know, doing everything you need to do because you need rest. I feel like that was a projection. Somebody could have been projecting that energy to, to mess up your flow. You got a routine. A lot of you guys are killing it. You know, whatever you're doing, whatever, you know, field you're working in, whatever you're doing, you're like, you're, you've been in your flow and things have been working out or at least are starting to. Distant past, somebody wanted to, to halt that. Giving and receiving. This is somebody that wants you to give to them. Maybe they want to give to you. It's giving and receiving. Uh, recent past. Control. Spread your wings. So there's somebody here, recent past service, somebody trying to control a connection that you had with a divine partner. Somebody could have been watching, keeping a watchful eye on this situation, but there's somebody, you know, this can represent like control. I get like, you know, an authority figure, maybe somebody with authority, with status. Um, Like I said, this could have been somebody that was disloyal. They want to come in, they want to make a love offer, and I feel like that's because they see you winning. And on top of that, on top of that, six of wands, we have this spread your wings. Maybe somebody's being urged or kind of nudged to put themselves out there. You know, be optimistic, share the love. Um, best outcome, possible outcome. Rest and reconsider. It's coming out on top of false person. Just breathe, reverse. So the Father Cups reverse, you know, this is somebody that either they're coming out of grief, out of sorrow. Could be feeling bad about something. Or not, it could be the opposite. You know, somebody's not feeling bad about it, about something. Maybe releasing the, this energetic vampire. Just breathe reverse. Yeah, I don't know if somebody... I get that energy, like maybe somebody needs to relax. This false person. Queen of Wands. Um... Seek, reverse. Blossom, reverse. So there's somebody here, you know, somebody needs rest. This could be you. I feel like, you know, it could be you. It could be another energy. This queen of wands is in the upright, but this could be another energy as well. It could be this. That could be the false person. Somebody here is losing sleep. They need to rest, reconsider some things. Blossom, reverse. You know, something's not growing. Maybe somebody's unable to manifest something. Uh, immediate future. Why do I keep doing that? Keep doing that. Listen. Embrace. So immediate future, there is somebody, whoever this is that wants this love offer, or they want this, this love contract, they want a union, they want to choose you. This is somebody that wants to, wants you to hear them out. They want this love contract, they want you to hear them out. They might even want, you know, they want to avoid a permanent ending. And we have embrace as well. Somebody could want, want to embrace, embrace you now. But I strongly get that there's somebody that, you know, doesn't want to give up on something. They could be doing some type of healing or this is you. And they want somebody to listen to what they have to say. Uh, factors affecting the situation. Solar plexus chakra. Saw it up, right?
detached reverse. So this is somebody that you know, they could be moving away from somebody that doesn't want to, to detach. This could be somebody, you know, reluctantly moving away. Maybe they don't want to detach. I feel like somebody's standing in their power. Uh, this is on top of that Knight of Swords upright. Somebody could want to communicate something or speak some type of truth. But with that solar places, this is somebody that's standing in their power. I kind of picked that up during the pre-shuffle as well. There's a masculine energy that's, you know, maybe even taking like accountability. But they're, they're taking responsibility for themselves, for their life, for their choices maybe. Definitely somebody like in their power. Um, outside influences. Lead. Win or lose, reverse. So maybe somebody's choosing to lead, to be a leader of some sort. Win or lose. I get like Ace of Swords energy off of this, but it's reverse. What is this? Teach. Take the lead. So we have a uh, <laughs> leader, uh, what is it? lead and take the lead. There's somebody here that needs to, you know, take some type of action or maybe they are, they are about to. Uh, I get emperor energy off this, this lead card. An authority figure, a boss, father. Uh, hopes and fears. Master. Move, reverse. I don't know if, you, well, I was going to say somebody could be trying to master something or perfect something before they come in, but these, these are hopes and fears. Somebody could be fearful of you being this master, maybe a master manifester, you being powerful. Somebody's not making a move though. Uh, but this, this is hopes and fears. I feel like somebody fears that maybe you are this master. They could also fear making the wrong move. Making the wrong choice. What's the final outcome? Moving on reverse. This is on top of that emperor reverse. There's an emperor, father figure, a boss, past person, maybe daddy, whoever. It's a distorted masculine. This person is refusing to move on from something. They don't want to let something go. If this is your person, then I mean, oh, I've picked that up several different, you know, spaces where like somebody just does, they don't want an ending, but somebody is like at least start, it feels like somebody is at least starting to do the work. They're coming out, you know, still reverse. We had the King of Pentacles, but uh, so I don't know why this sticks out to me. Like somebody could be standing in their power. I don't know if somebody just did a, a cleanse, a cleanse of, of some sort. Uh, Strengthening bonds, third eye chakra. So third eye, you know, this has to do with like your your inner knowing, your intuition. Um, you know, your third eye could be open. Maybe somebody's uh, you know, uh, I don't know. This is on top of the Nine of Pentacles, though. So, I mean, you could be somebody highly intuitive. You could have that inner knowing. You avoided a tower. Maybe your, your third eye or your intuition helped guide you around a, a tower. I feel like, you know, this is you definitely avoided a tower of some sort or a final outcome you're going to. You're going to avoid some type of tower. Maybe because you're going to see something, clearly. And then, we, like I said, we got this masculine over here that is uh, refusing to move on. Could be somebody you don't trust. Trust reverse. All right, I'm gonna use uh, the miscellaneous extra deck as well. Um, present moment. High priestess, white witch, intuitive, powerful, spiritually gifted, using gifts for good. 
60 something reverse. Somebody could be under 60. You know, take what resonates. Like the age, I thought about taking the age cards out, like all of them, because I mean, this could be, you know, everybody has different ages. So, lack of self worth, insecurity, self sabotage, feeling inadequate. Oh, I'm into uh, a media challenge. Lack of self worth. So, there's somebody here who doesn't see their own worth, maybe? Yeah, optimistic. Well, optimistic came out, but I took that as like, yeah. Celebration, party, socializing, going out, doing too much, overindulging, a reason to celebrate, a reason to celebrate, a victory. I feel like this something is, this is like definitely for you. There's going to be some type of favorable outcome for you. Stay optimistic. Because this is all, you know, this is coming out on top of a high priestess, white witch, intuitive, powerful, using their gifts for good. So this is like this collective energy. I don't know if somebody, oh my gosh, I hope not. I hope you're not, you know, and I mean, a lot of us have been through it, you know. Uh, but I, I sincerely hope that there's none of you that is in this energy, you know, of lacking self-worth, insecure, self-sabotaging, feeling inadequate. That's just not the case. Like you are, you are worthy. You are deserving. You are adequate. You are enough, you know. Um, distant past. This is like a mess. I got this whole thing here. Uh, chill, non-confrontational, avoiding conflict, walking away from hostility. Victory, success, blessing, crowned. Level up the win, gaining power or influence. There could have been a situation in which, you know, things weren't growing. We have Blossom Reverse, just breathe reverse. What was this? Oh, where am I at? Hold on. That's the wrong, wrong section. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Let me have there. Flow. Okay, so somebody, some black magic went back. Somebody was liking for a movement. Because there was some type of projection being done. I feel like, you know, you could be this non, this chill, non-confrontational person. You avoided a lot of conflict. You know, a lot of you had, you know, things coming at you from every direction. You know, and for a while, maybe you didn't know, you know, where it was coming from or, you know, who all the players were. You know, um, but I feel like you walked away from hostility, you know. Uh, most of you, you know, you didn't seek vengeance. You didn't, you know, seek to get even. You know, you simply moved away, walked away. That, I feel like that's what got you victory. Or that's what, this is what's bringing you victory and success. You could be going through a level up. Maybe you've gone through a level up, glow up of some sort. I feel like, you know, you've been moving the smart way. I mean, and honestly, I mean, from my, my personal experience, this was the ticket. <laughs> You know, there were a lot of people in my, my personal situation, there were people that were banking on me being reactive, being confrontational, being problematic. And as soon as spirit put it on my mind to change that shit, I did. Like, oh, they're going to use that against me? Okay, bet. Let me take that away. Yeah, I feel like there's some type of victory or success. What is that? Not believing the hype, not easily fooled, seeing through lies, illusions, and falsehood. Yeah. You're somebody you're probably highly intuitive. You were chill, non-confrontational. You avoided conflict and hostility. Um, and this is what... And like I said, if you haven't gone through some type of level up or you're not receiving some type of success, I feel like it's coming. Uh, re recent past. Deranged reverse. Illusion shattered. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe somebody could have been under. Somebody could have cast an illusion over you. I feel like, you know, the illusion is shattered. And this is, uh, you know, in the recent past, you 
decided to take a leap of faith. I get all that's why I get off of this spread your wings card. You could have possibly taken a leap of faith away from some people, away from a person, away from a job, a situation, a town, whatever the case. Maybe a person. Because this person was disloyal. Let me have to arrange what is that? Somebody's not crazy. There's a, a divine partner. Maybe somebody's getting that now. They see that like who their who their person is. Divine partner to a cup. Somebody wants, you know, this relationship with their person. Uh this is somebody who could be a control freak, somebody who likes to be in control. They have to, you know, pull the strings in every situation. Uh deranged reverse. You know, somebody not crazy. Either somebody's not crazy or they're super crazy. Like really out of it. What is that? Yeah, somebody could be super out of it. Pills, potions, blood or urine, place some food or beverage to place an illusion over someone. Caught up in a fantasy or illusion under a love spell, bound to someone, being influenced by a false sense of love. Or maybe, yeah, somebody's not deranged anymore. They, they're not crazy anymore. They see maybe what was done. Spying, stalking, invasion of privacy, reverse. So maybe since uh, there was an illusion that was shattered here, somebody couldn't spy or stalk, or somebody stopped. I don't know why this is, this one card is was it came out false marriage. I don't know if in the recent past there was some type of false marriage. Energy drain. And that's followed by isolation. So, I mean, there's somebody here. Recent past, this could be you. Maybe somebody was draining your energy. Somebody was a really big energy drain. You could have felt isolated. False marriage. I don't know. This is not, yeah, maybe I should put that one back. I feel like that's supposed to be there. I don't know if this person, somebody could have been in, involved in a false marriage. They thought that somebody was their two of cups. They thought that somebody was their divine partner. Both of those are upright though. Somebody was manipulated. Their emotions were manipulated. Maybe manipulated into a, a false marriage of some sort. I feel like one in which maybe their energy was drained. Somebody here, you know, was, uh, you know, partook in a false marriage. And I feel like that, that that could have been all it was about. Draining somebody's energy. You know? Just could have left somebody feeling isolated, depleted, you know, alone. In a marriage. I mean, if, if it's a false marriage, you know? You talk a lot of shit reverse. This could have been you. Recent past, you were isolated for some reason. <laughs> Maybe avoid, uh, yeah, energy drain. I feel like that. that's, yeah, I don't know. We'll come back around. Uh, best outcome, possible outcome. Candle magic. Method of harnessing the transformative powers of fire to bring intentions to fruition. So there was a false person doing some, some type of candle magic. Stones and crystals, healing. Meditation, metaphysical properties, grounding. This could be, I mean, maybe you, you know, it's in the upright, candle magic, method of harnessing. Maybe you do some form of candle magic. Queen of Wands is, you know, could be witchy. Uh, and they're, they're not all bad, you know. Um, you have stones and crystals, and I get like ritual work of some sort. Stones, crystals, and candle magic. Maybe you use stones with your candle magic possible outcome medical document test results DNA test labs diagnosis better with time is somebody healing somebody getting somebody's health improving somebody could be getting some test results a DNA test some type of labs or something and uh, better with time maybe something's getting better uh, immediate future. 
Insecurity reverse. That one jumped out. Flirt reverse. This is on top of death reverse and embrace. Maybe somebody's unable to flirt, you know? There's an energy here that wants to embrace. They don't they want to avoid a permanent ending, but flirt reverse. Maybe this person can't, you know, somebody's not flirting. This person feels insecure because you could be prosperous, successful, independent. That nine of pentacles energy. Somebody wants to, like I said, I got that earlier. Somebody wants to, you know, they want you to hear them out. They have something to say. They want you to hear them out. But this person could be, it could be super insecure because of your money, maybe. Successful and independent. 20 something. Somebody could be in their 20s. Sorrow reverse. Scammer, thief, con artist, liar, romance scammer, catfish, check fraud, insurance fraud, hacker. I don't know if somebody was like, somebody could have been trying to scam or plot on maybe a nine of pentacles energy. Somebody prosperous, successful, independent because they were insecure. They wanted to scam somebody. Sorrow reverse, 20 something reverse. Somebody is avoid, avoiding a painful, they want to avoid a painful permanent ending. This person could be coming out of sorrow, grief, not knowing, out of the loop, lacking knowledge. What is that? Yeah, somebody could be overindulging. This is somebody that is, uh, you know, maybe they're in deep sorrow or maybe they're still healing from something. Flirt reverse, they don't want to flirt. There's somebody just trying to avoid an ending. Trustworthy reverse. Somebody here that's not trustworthy. Whoever this is, not knowing, out of the loop, they lack knowledge. Somebody that can't be trusted. Maybe that's why they why they don't know, why they're out in the cold from a situation. This person could be a scammer. Yeah, whatever situation this is, there's gonna be justice. Uh, fairness, the scales being balanced, reaping what you've sown, wrongs being made right. So when it comes to this thief, this con artist, and this, you know, prosperous, successful, independent person that they were coming for, justice is going to be served. Uh, factors affecting the situation. Exposure. Somebody's exposed. Bad vibes, negativity, dark aura, evil, bad demeanor, creepy, bad feelings. So yeah, there's somebody with bad vibes, somebody in, you know, a creepy, maybe negative energy that is uh, exposed. Could be. Got exposure on top of uh, teach, knight of swords. Somebody wanting to come in and speak some speak on something this could be somebody well fairished somebody that wears a lot of jewelry somebody that likes you know nicer things uh nothing wrong with that card says fancy binding spell i'm not going to read this but uh binding spell upright somebody got caught Doing some type of, maybe some type of manipulation, some type of energy work, maybe a spell, a binding spell. Is this coming out on top of exposed? Somebody could have got, you know, exposed for doing whatever manipulations they do. Yeah, because somebody, it's all replaces uh, upright. Somebody's standing in their power. They're not easily fooled, not manipulated. This person could be a trophy. Um, you know, somebody that by, you know, societal standards, they're attractive. person can work out this person has an entity attachment or a toxic cord attachment of some sort it's a karmic attachment 
maybe that binding spell that they sent. Yeah, it could man. The binding spell that they're exposed for doing could have went back. Now somebody has an attachment of some sort. Um, out, outside influences. Sacrifice. Sacrifice comes before success. Foe, snake, su suspect, hidden motives, fake, disgenuine. So there could be somebody who is, you know, carrying this master energy. Somebody who wants to take the lead. Either this person, I don't know. Either somebody tried to sacrifice you. This is a foe, a snake, a hidden, somebody with hidden motives. They're fake, disgenuine, or it's outside influences. Yeah, somebody had hidden motives this whole time, I feel like. They could have they been trying to, this could be, you know, this could have been like an industry sacrifice, a spiritual sacrifice. Somebody wanted to, you know, get you out of the way and maybe take your, take your position. Impersonation reverse, yeah, as if they could. Somebody, I get that. Somebody tried to get you out of the way so, so they could be you, they could impersonate. Yeah, it's not going down like that. Kitchen Witch. Herbalist uses herbs and spices to produce potions, medicines, foods, and incantations. So you got a foe, a snake, somebody with hidden motives that's also a witch. Yeah, somebody tried to, they wanted to be you because they wanted financial gains. Could have tried to impersonate you, sacrifice you, impersonate you so that they have financial gains, new job opportunities. Opportunities for prosperity and abundance, financial stability. This is something somebody was lacking. They wanted to take it from you. Blocked communication, a message never sent, failure to communicate. This could be somebody you're not talking to currently. Dwelling in toxicity, victim, weakness, refusal to defend yourself. Somebody is in it and they're feeling bad for themselves. Could lack self-worth. This is somebody who needs to step up. Uh, hopes and fears. Close off to love. Emotionally unavailable. Rejecting love. Love blockages. Poison. Reverse. Don't drink their coffee. Don't drink their tea. Someone is posing as an ally, but is secretly working against you. If they're asking lots of questions, they simply want to know what you know or use your words against you. Proceed with caution. I mean, this is a point. I don't know. Somebody could have tried to poison you. It didn't work. Or this, you know, happened in the past. Or this is hopes and fears. I'm tripping. Somebody could be fearful of you being closed off to love. Emotionally unavailable. I really feel like somebody is hopeful that you don't see them as an op. Somebody, someone is posing as an ally, but is secretly working against you. They don't want you to know this. You know, they do everything in the secret, you know, in the, the, the cover of darkness behind people's backs. They don't want to be seen. This is somebody codependent. The ability to adapt and move past difficulty, moving on unbothered. Shit happens, just flush it and move on. That could be a hope or a fear. Somebody could be fearful of you just, you know, just moving on, unbothered, adapting and moving on. Mm. Uh, final outcome. Mad, angry, upset, pressed and obsessed. Upset, pressed and obsessed. Busted and disgusted. Bad mood, mean, aggressive. You mad, bro? So final outcome, there's somebody pissed off, maybe because... You're chill, you're non-confrontational. Somebody's been trying to get a rise out of you or get you to react, and maybe you're not. Virgo, reverse. We just cannot get away from this upside down as Virgo. There's a Virgo in a low vibration. This person's mad, they're angry. This is a copycat. Somebody who tries to do what you do better than you. Just 
copycat this man. Yeah, influencer, social media, success, star energy, content creator. So that, there's literally somebody is a Virgo or they have it highly aspected. And this could be a copycat. Somebody who maybe they want they want to be an influencer. They want to do what you do. Or I feel like somebody could have been trying to get you, you know, out of pocket, get you upset, and you're not letting it get to you. Game over. It was, yeah. Permanent endings, the end of manipulation, deception, or a difficult time. So this game over for this copycat. Something is like completely over. Good luck. A fortunate turn of events good karma this is coming out on top of that influencer social media success uh if you are some type of influencer maybe you're a reader maybe you have a channel where you do other things i feel like there's going to be a fortunate turn of events for you fitness karmic partner there could be a karmic partner or a past lover, somebody who's fit, physically fit. This is, it's over with this person. Like, the, the, it's a permanent ending, the end of manipulation. They can't manipulate you anymore. This copycat. Yeah, final outcome. These people are, this person, this people, they're being exposed. Stabbed in the back, reverse. Betrayers revealed, foes exposed. A lot of them have been hiding. This could, one of them could have been a, kar a karmic partner past person oh a stalker somebody's gonna be exposed it could be a, a past lover somebody you were intertwined with a karmic lover this person is you know they've been watching super close and regardless of where they're at now i, I definitely feel this, this is somebody that you know they they betrayed you Disdain reverse. Rebirth, healing, transformation, healthier choices, resurgence. Somebody really does not like the fact that you're making better choices. You're on the up and up. Uh, Taurus reverse. Could be a Taurus in a low vibration that doesn't like the fact that, you know, Maybe you're transforming, you know, healthier choices, resurgence, healing, rebirth is what that says. It's a low vibe in Taurus that's mad. This person could be denying their feelings, refusing to acknowledge their true emotions, downplaying them. My heart belongs or my heart is beating for you. Reverse. Maybe somebody doesn't want yeah, covert narcissist person could be a covert narc, a Taurus in a low vibration. They're denying their feelings, refusing to acknowledge their true feelings, downplaying their emotions for somebody. Well, that, I mean, that, that's a surefire way to miss out on something amazing. Denying your feelings. Like, well, I'm just pulling. Yeah, this person could be in trouble. Whoever this covert narc is, this karmic partner or lover, this stalker, stalkery, stalk, stalker-ish. They could be bound to something, stuck in something, block sight or vision. They can no longer spy on you, watch you, see you. Lover reverse. This is like somebody you were dealing with and you're not anymore. This person slandered you. They could have talked about you behind your back. Yeah, slander. And this might have been revealed to you or it's going to be. They slandered the collective, a chosen one. See what I got over here. Bottom of this deck, we have judgment upright. Yeah, somebody or some people, they're under judgment and uh, it's going to be public. I feel like it does have something to do with finances in a lot of cases. It could have something to do with commitment um, in other cases. But I feel like whatever this is, this judgment that they're receiving, or maybe blocking the message or being non-committal. This is uh it's gonna be public. 
social media is my public card. It can talk about literally social media or it can uh, it can be something uh, public, you know, that everybody sees. Yeah, somebody's secrets are coming out, maybe publicly, so they want to move on. <laughs> Seekers reverse. Somebody seekers coming out, so they wanna they wanna get out of there. Yeah, they invested in an unrequited love situation. Yeah, maybe because their intuition was blocked. Ace of Wands upright, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this person, yeah. Six of Cups reverse. This person can't come back. Maybe because of, uh, you know, the mask that they decided to wear. Six of Cups. No reconciliation, no reunion. Which, in this energy, trash box energy, Ronald McDonald, you, yeah, you don't. That's a blessing. You don't want this person back. Yeah, this is. there's somebody here that does, you know, they could be currently... Stuck in a situation, they're, you know, uh, experiencing a, a, a downward spiral or, or a fall from grace. They don't want to give up on something. They don't want to give up, maybe trying to, you know, get a Queen of Cups back. This could be you. You know, in which case I'll say, what's up, boo? I love. Queen of Cups, you know, somebody could be, you know, focused on trying to get... This Queen of Cups back, they're really stressful or they're really stressed out. Nine of Swords, because they were under an illusion. One that's been shattered, you know. They see clearly now, but they weren't before. This person could be trying to manifest something. White Magic Reverse. Justice Reverse, again. They did some type of energy work between this magician and this white magic reverse, followed by justice reverse and emotional manipulator reverse. Somebody did something that was either unfair or very much illegal. And it could have been, uh, it could have had something to do with energy work, manifestation or magic. Um, yeah, whatever somebody did, whatever, you know, the situation with the justice is, I feel like they've, they've locked themselves out of something. You know, Five of Pentacles, they could be struggling financially. The Hermit, they've just discovered that maybe their messages are blocked. And they don't like that. Hater. Maybe that's why they're, why they're blocked. Because <laughs> they're a hater. King of Wands, upright. It's like somebody's ships are not coming in. What is coming in is like a lot of stress, a lot of burden. Ten of Wands. This person wants to come back. They want to return to a star energy that they might have walked away from. Maybe they didn't see you as a star in the past. Uh, Eight of Cups reverse. They walked away from you. They want to walk back. Because they want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. They know it's going to be fruitful. It's going to be prosperous. Uh, two of Swords reverse. They've made their mind up about this. Somebody isn't still contemplating. They're, they want to do this. They want to come in and make a solid offer. Knight of Pentacles. The Sun upright. Yeah, somebody's exposed. This could be a King, King of Cups reverse. This could be an emotional manipulator, somebody emotionally unavailable or emotionally unstable. Uh, this is somebody's false flame. Twin flame reverse. This was a false flame to somebody. Yeah, to you, High Priestess. High Priestess upright uh, with divine guidance. Hey, bay. Followed by the Ten of Pentacles. You perceive some type of divine guidance or your, your third eye was like, you know, cueing you into certain things. Maybe surrounded some type of money, an inheritance, ten of pentacles, a windfall. Yeah, you're not confused. Whoever you are, you're not confused. Up in the clouds reverse, you're not confused about what happened. And I get the energy. You could be somebody like, you know, 
maybe you know or you really, really feel like you know a certain way about a situation or something, something that went down, something that happened, but you don't have concrete proof. Trust yourself because you're, you're on target, High Priestess. Whatever you're intuiting is more than likely true. You're not confused. You could be rejecting somebody's cup. Or somebody's afraid of rejection. They want to balance something out with you. Or they could want to just balance. Two of Pentacles, this could be somebody wanting to balance their finances. And maybe they want to use, you know, a Queen of Pentacles to do that. Six of Pentacles are, ooh. Somebody, yeah, somebody was in a, coming from a really dark place. Trying to take from you, maybe energetically, the most high reverse. It got them nothing but bad karma. The Wheel of Fortune, upright. Yeah, this is a, uh, there's some some type of conflict or some type of competition that's over. It's ended because the, the, the really big lies that were told have been exposed. Whatever these lies were, they could have been about your character, maybe your sexuality in some, some way, shape, or form. Just because I see passion. It's following, that's following the Ace of Swords reverse. Could have been some type of lies about maybe your sexual preferences, your sexual orientation. Man. Yeah, whoever did this, they're stuck. Not wanting to give up. Okay, I'm going to give you guys some of the mess deck. As promised, I know I didn't do it yesterday. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. Uh, feeling good, you know, feeling blessed. My allergies are starting to kick in. Every September and October, I have a really, you know, hard time. And it just kicked off yesterday. So I'm like, I got a headache. Nose is stuffy. But other than that, you know. I'm all good over here. Um, I'm going to pull from the mess deck, see what we have that comes out for us. Messages for the collective sphere. Messages for the collective sphere. Messages for the collective sphere. I've got to find like a better way to shuffle these. They don't just pop out like. All right, North Node. A lot of you are in your North Node. A lot of you are protected because you're in your North Node. I did see a reverse. Somebody could have been trying to get you off your North Node. O, first, last, middle, initial. Be mindful when considering allowing past energies to return. I mean, def definitely want to be mindful <laughs> when considering past energies to return. I would, man, use your discernment at all times. I would say don't. Man, look at this. Second time. Second time. We, we had the stalker and they popped out. Yeah. Man. Some of you are, you know, well aware. Like, you've already known. You've known that there was some creep, you know. <laughs> I, oh, God. I'm sending you a lot, of, a lot of love, a lot of light, and a lot of protective energy. Beloved, if you're dealing with this. It's crazy. Yeah, this is why divine dime, baby. Y'all here fine, divine, intuitive. Got the divine glow. Look at this weirdo. <laughs> baby, it's not funny. Yeah, it's not funny. It's creepy. You know, shouldn't have to go through that. Everyone knows that you're speaking the truth about past experiences. Many of them witness bad treatment or betrayals you suffered. They didn't do anything about it. They didn't know your spiritual rank. Now they're in regret. I did that. Okay, some of these, I don't know how those got mixed up because those, some of these I pulled yesterday. Randomly calling or making contact to attach to your energy. I think I did that one too. Somebody could be a prostitute. 
they could have said this about you. I, I got those vibes somewhere. Like somebody could have said something like, you know, with that passion card. Like somebody could have said you were like, you know, a wild woman or a wild boy. You sidewalk gang or something. You have stability now because you've moved away from the lack mentality and people who have it. Good job. There's a karmic feminine. There's a karmic female that doesn't have the, the courage to face you now. They don't have the courage to face you now. Karmic female. Terminal illness. I don't care how long it takes. I'm just I'm determined to get you back. I don't care how long it takes. I'm determined to get you back. Go take me back and let me spend your money. Summer. It's still summer. It's still summer now. Oh my goodness. Uh, I wonder if it's terminal illness and somebody determined to get you back. Like it's, uh, I don't know, man. Sending a lot of love, a lot of light to anybody, you know, that it is. Terminal or not, you know, dealing with any type of illness. Uh, abandonment. Somebody could have abandonment issues. Somebody could feel abandoned. Maternal family or mother figure actively worked to block and delay you. Yeah, they were trying to block your blessing. Blessings reversed. They're trying to block your blessing. I'm denying my involvement because the things I've done to you are unforgivable. I mean, you could deny it. I mean, they can deny it all they want. Like, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that they did what they did. Like, you know, deny it all you want. You still go get that karma. Like, buddy. Like <laughs> An opportunist is running out of allies and wants to come towards you. Steer clear of them. That's why I say, like, when it comes to these past people... Yeah, I wouldn't, cause, um, you know, use your discernment, but I personally, I mean, and I'm sure a lot of y'all agree. There is no taking them back, you know, allowing them to return. No, if you left, then you stay gone. Shit. The fuck? An opportunist is running out of allies and wants to come towards you. Steer clear of them. Yeah. You could have a divine partner coming in. I saw this sideways. Maybe this, this joker was your divine partner. You know, they, they opted out, you know, <laughs> opted for the, <laughs> opted for the, you know, the cheaper package. I don't know. Like, what the fuck? This person's antennas. Where was this person's antennas? There were way too many weirdos focused on you and your forward movement. Anyone still watching will watch you win. So I said, let them watch. Let them watch, weirdos. Uh, sex offender. Crown chakra reverse. We had it upright in the the reading. Uh, somebody's crown could have been blocked, or is blocked. Stolen property. I saw it reverse. Something could have been stolen from you. You might be getting it back. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm twenty-seven one. This is one of my favorites. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom? Who? Who am I going to be afraid of? Who would I be afraid of? What are you? <laughs> what are you? What is you? You can't be human. We sent you every spell in the book. What is you? Somebody might, I don't know, maybe they think you're... I mean, you know, how do you are otherworldly. You know, celestial beings. Set intentions and take the actionable steps toward your goals. Your success is destined. Like literally, whatever you put your, you know, your mind to or your, you know, your energy into, it's going to prosper. It's going to flourish. Pathological liar. What's a pathological liar is like, isn't it like the liar that believes their own lies? Like it's not a lie to them. Like, <laughs> Like, this is like a liar that can tell a lie and they'll pass a lie detector test. Because in their mind, it's not a lie. I think that's a pathological liar. 
playing the victim as their spell work and manipulation backfires on them. They're probably blaming it on you. Every time a back <laughs> it's fucked. <laughs> Every time a backfire happens, they blame it on collector. It's collector. Ah, they over there projecting on us. Oh no, that's your own shit going back to you. Collective don't do black magic. Dummies. Release what doesn't serve you. Or who doesn't serve you. Whatever, whatever the case, beloved. I had no intention. I had no intention of coming back or needing you. So I was ruthless in my betrayals. Well, uh, yeah, be ruthless in your fucking, your departure. Like, shit. Stay gone. You had no intention of coming back. So, stand by that shit. This motherfucker said he was ruthless. Uh, they was ruthless. I was ruthless with my betrayals. Okay. He ruthless with his ass whooping, too. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Man. I know I'm not like extra. I'm not funny man today. I'm not giving y'all Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Bernie Mac. You know, yeah, I know I haven't been like funny, funny today. I told you I got a headache. My allergies are kind of, my allergies are messing with me and they may, I don't, you know, I got to go get me something. But I, first, last, middle, initial. Admiration over impersonation. Meaning, like, it's okay to admire somebody, you know, to uh, like certain things about somebody, but to like certain things about somebody so much that you want, you copy them, or you take them, you take certain things from a person, like you pretend to be them. Impersonation is creepy. Admiration is cool. Impersonation is creepy. It's weird. Faith, purpose, gratitude. All three. Very, very important. I'm denying my involvement because the things I already read them. The things I've done are unforgivable. I know you never forgive me, which is why I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Like, okay, well, don't ask for shit. <laughs> With family like this, who needs enemies? Period. I mean, the family, shit, family do you the worst. Family do you worse than a stranger will. Seen like. I know that I can't lie to you. You see right through me. But I'm a lie to you anyway. <laughs> Someone is angry that you've distanced yourself and established boundaries. Yeah, stay mad. Or, or don't. Do your, do your healing, Crosswatch, please. Throat chakra, reverse. Somebody's throat could be, you know, that somebody hasn't spoke on something. Somebody in a red car, scared to speak on something. Soul Tribe vibes. Could have Soul Tribe coming in or emotional manipulation. I saw it reverse. I did see that Soul Tribe vibes reverse too. But uh, emotional manipulation reverse. Like, yeah, we're done with that. You no longer have a twin flame. You're being gifted a divine partner. I saw that somewhere. I did see that somewhere and I said you might have a divine partner coming in. Identity theft. I said somebody tried to impersonate you. Crazy asses. Shocking news from an unlikely source. Stay grounded. And somebody you know that you're not expecting to hear from or hear something from, they go drop it on you, baby. Past person was offered an incentive to conspire against you while smiling in your face. You will witness their karma. I'm going to take a few more of these. Okay. That'll do it. Scorpio, I saw it reverse. Scorpio on a low vibration. Everyone knew about it except for you. L, first, last, middle, initial. Conspiracy to commit. Somebody conspired to commit a crime. Somebody in a black car. You could drive a black car. Money on the way. Could be some type of funds or some abundance and prosperity on the way to you. Some money. Told a lot of lies, none of which they could substantiate. 
grand larceny and I the reverse somebody somebody could have done done this grand larceny is some type of I want to say it's some type of theft somebody stealing something uh it's been exposed and whoever did this they told a lot of lies none of which they could substantiate you know you go you have all of these claims you have to go to court and you know provide proof documents you know they couldn't substantiate shit told all of these lies about you to steal some shit from you right the hell's wrong yeah clearly low iq <laughs> short but shorty gotta be slow low iq baby now they don't want to be a it, it, uh, enemy reverse. They don't want to be your enemy no more. Don't stop get it, get it. Whatever you're, like I said, whatever you're doing, if you're working a little job, you're starting a business, you're coming up, you know, formulating your master plan, whatever you're doing, you know, don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop. Man, somebody's brother could be involved. I wish I could take it all back. I bet you do. I bet they do, Collector. They wish they could take it all back. Every lie they told, every spell they did, every candle they lit, every, you know, creepy church people. <laughs> they do be creepy. I mean, not to say all church people are creepy because they're not, but they're, you know, those creepy church people. Like, mmm, this church looking a little cultish. I don't know what y'all doing in here. <laughs> Someone that feels rejected by you has been slandering you and defaming your character. Yeah, someone that feels rejected by the collective can suck a, a big toe. Like a big toe. Because, yeah, it's just, they feel rejected. Like get out of your punk ass feelings and take accountability for your actions. They're still, or still running that mouth, slandering and defaming somebody because they got their punk ass got rejected. God's plan. God's plan. Cleanse your energy. Somebody want to tell you something. Confession session. But we had that one that said somebody, you, you might receive uh, shocking news from an unlikely source. It's about, I mean, it's about time. Like, <laughs> shit, at this point, don't we have all the details? We have all the details. Like, we know, <laughs> we know everything. <laughs> We know everything. Shit, we just waiting on the, the other shoe to fall. Like, shoot. Uh, let me get you got some Oracle. I don't know if I'm going to post this reading or not. Because I hate that, like, my, I wasn't, like, you know, and give y'all, you know, Deaf Comedy Jam. I'm sorry. I know a lot of y'all be looking forward to laughing. Yeah, I'm sorry, beloved. Energy a little bit low today. I'm going to pull from the Intuition Oracle. Yeah, my energy's a little bit low today. Get me some rest. I have been busy, though. I've been very, very busy. The leaders. I know how to lead because I know what needs to be done. Number five could be significant. The leaders. All right. Let's, let's, I'm going to give you one from Priestess of Light. Priestess of Light. Give us a good one, Spirit. Telepathy, transmission, perception, communication. 22 could be significant. Telepathy. Let's do one more here. One more, one more. Let's do an energy oracle. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. 38 could be significant. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. We'll, we'll start with this one. 38. Okay. okay. Love, compassion, and self acceptance. Upright. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, 
the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Love, compassion, and self-acceptance. You could be doing some, some heart chakra healing. Currently, maybe you're, you know, finally moving past some things. You know, um, in some, case, some cases, it is a process. You know, uh, I mean, I'm speaking from my own experience. You know, I'd be a liar if I said I'm like, I'm fully healed. I'm 100% healed. No, I've come a long way, though. <laughs> I've come a very long way. Um, but just, yeah, that's, just keep going. That's the name of the game. Don't stop, get it, get it. Keep going. Whatever you're doing, keep going, my love. Um, from the Intuition Oracle, we have Leaders, number five. I know how to lead because I know what needs to be done. Two leaders stand side by side discussing the best course of action to take for the benefit of the people who look to them for guidance. The strange moonlit place in which they find themselves is symbolic of the darkness and confusion through which all leaders must navigate using their intuition as well as their logical mind. The man stands proudly looking off into the distance at a future that may or may not come to pass as he intends anticipates it. The woman is cautious and looks back, reminding him of the lessons they and those who have come before them have learned. The man wears a dual headdress, symbol of his rank. The feathers are from the eagle, the highest flying bird, and remind him to look down from a higher perspective on all below. The horns assemble the world, assemble the world over for leadership and wisdom, connect him to the earth and mother of all. On his tunic, he wears the story of his accomplishments, told in pictographs and the image of a circle divided into 12 sections, also a symbol found in the cosmologies of most of the Earth's first, first peoples. It corresponds to both the 12 signs of the zodiac and the 12 houses of an astrological chart. For thousands of years, leaders have guided their followers by the stars and planets. The orange circle surrounding this circle of the Earth is a symbol of the sun, the great being who brings light and life to our solar system. The woman who guides the male leader in all things wears a necklace and earrings made from substances so precious they are also used as currency. Upon her chest are two beaded circles, the universal symbol of the moon as she makes her transition from full moon to the new moon and back again. Thousands of years ago, the ability of a woman to create life caused all women to be seen as manifestations of the great goddess herself. For centuries, women were held to be sacred from the Latin word sacer, meaning untouchable. These two leaders are proud of their accomplishments, symbolized by their fine clothing, their tools, and most of all, their partnership. They are wise but know how to listen. They are the archetype of all successful leaders. They harmonize their male logical left brain with their female intuitive right brain and make decisions that lead to the best results for all concerned. There are times when your ability to assume a position of authority and control is crucial. If you think you cannot lead until you know exactly what to do, it is time you learn the truth about the way every great leader leads. They do the best they can. If you wait for others to take the lead, you may be disappointed. Even if they appear resistant to taking your direction, in their heart of hearts, they know you are right and will come around to your way of thinking sooner than you think. In everything you do, do not take any shortcuts or get involved with any underhanded activities. Behave nobly. Remember to avoid seeming overbearing or dictatorial. Let your good example be the best sermon. It is especially important that you avoid appearing cheap or petty. Almost all people have a hard time accepting direction from someone who does not live up to a very high set of standards. Allow your intuition to alert you to whom you can trust and who is not trustworthy. The leaders. I know how to lead because I know what needs to be done. That was a good one. I think I could, you know, I definitely took a took a quite a bit of, from from this, you know. 
Almost all people have a hard time accepting direction from someone who does not live up to a very high set of standards. It's true. Very true. All right. Uh, all right. Next. Uh, the last one we have is telepathy, transmission, perception, and communication. 22. This card shows the priestess of the universal mind, the eternal voice, the light that rises from above her crown chakra opens the door to all of spirit. The orb encircling her heart center vibrates through infinity, opening the portal to immortal wisdom. That's, did I read that twice? No, oh, okay. She comes to tell you that you are right now capable of profound perception and telepathic communication. You've been endowed with this talent since the origins of the of divine consciousness at the beginning of time. So let yourself trust in that innate power. When you want to receive, all you need to do is stop, breathe, open up, and trust. The wolf's bright eyes pierce straight into the heart of the spirit world. Unlike the wolf on card 21, who guides you on your personal path, this one creates a direct connection with the ethereal, ent ethereal entities riding the waves of it, the energetic realm. The wolf's incredible instincts, acute senses, and extraordinary intelligence offer profound understanding of every aspect of the environment. You have this capacity as well. Practice tuning in to the helpful transmissions all around you, and you'll be amazed by spontaneous insights. This powerful card calls upon your incredible ability to reach out and communicate with the very elements of the earth, in addition to receiving transmissions from the outer edges of the universe, from the spirit world and beyond. It is your destiny and the destiny of humankind to evolve into this deep telepathic state. Do not think it is beyond you. Open up to this sleeping power and the universe will speak to you in more ways than you can imagine. I am a receiver of universal power and information. The infinite wisdom of the world always comes to me when I need it. I'm going to read that again. I am a receiver of universal power and information. The infinite wisdom of the world always comes to me when I need it. Uh, telepathy, transmission, perception, and communication. It's a good one, too. Good one, too. Uh, yeah, you could be, uh, you know, getting more tapped in, receiving uh, different types of downloads. Some of you could be telepathic, you know. All right. Uh, I did not pick a prayer. I did not pick a prayer. Uh, it's not midday. Okay. Uh, I stopped on page 95. Uh, this is out of Prayers That Release Heaven and Move Mountains, one of my John Ecker books. Uh, this is Prayers to Release the Morning and the Day Spring. I've never read this before, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm praying for everybody watching, all you beautiful souls, all of the collective, all you star seeds, what's up fam, all you chosen ones, um, and myself. Lord, you command the morning and cause the day spring to know his place. Let all wickedness be shaken out of my life in the name of Jesus. Let the morning and the day spring arise in my life. Let the dew of the morning be upon my life in the name of Jesus. Let the blessing of the morning arise in my life in the name of Jesus. Let the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and let every area of my life be healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are a sun and a shield for my life. Withhold no good things from my life. With this new morning, let new mercy and favor be upon my life in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you are my day spring. Release more light and revelation into my life. Day spring, take your place in my life. Day spring from on high. Visit me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Short and sweet. I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some uh, clarity. Some confirmation uh maybe it made more sense for you i don't i yeah i can honestly say like i said the reading was all over the place the cards themselves uh the oracle was good though uh thank you guys so much for joining me i love you guys to the moon and back collective energy is the best um 
guys are absolutely amazing. You know, I'm sure you impact, you know, the lives of others, whether you realize it or not, you know. A lot of you impact the lives of others every single day. And you might not even notice. Um, thank you for being here. Um, to anybody who's donated to the channel, thank you so much. It's a really big help and I love you. Uh, to anybody who would like to donate, the links will be in the description box of this video. As well as the links to my Etsy shop. Um, I had a couple new bracelets. Well, I still have uh, one. And I, there'll be more of the Lunescence as well. So I made six or seven of these Lunescence bracelets. I made seven. One of them, you know, I can always keep one for myself. But this has black tourmaline, larkovite labradorite, which is black labradorite, and white moonstone. This is actually, there is a, I have a, a viewer named Luna. Hey, Luna, if you're watching, I love. Um, she lives in Australia. And we've been swapping emails, but she sent me um, an idea for uh, a bracelet. And these were all stones that I'm familiar with and I like, some of which I already had. So uh, I made the bracelet and named it Lunescence. Um, they're sold out. I put the bracelets up uh, like this morning. It's like 7 p.m. Central now. But I mean, I checked maybe three hours ago. They're, they're going. You guys bought them. So thank you. Uh, there will be more, though, uh, if you guys are interested in this. The uh, description is on Etsy. It's just they went quick. I do have, if you guys remember, Cool Intuitive. I've only had one amethyst bracelet. It was called the Cool Intuitive. I brought it back. So the Cool Intuitive, it has regular Labradorite, Labradorite, Amethyst, and Purple Tiger's Eye. I think the first one had silver, it was like a silver layered hematite or something. But the the color on those, on those stones, they came off. Like the, it was had, it was hematite, but it was painted. Like the beads were not like the best. I, I made this bracelet, I originally made this bracelet when I first started making bracelets. So the first round, the first batch was not the best. Uh, I've gotten really good with these over the last year or so. And I stopped using stones that are not natural. So instead of that silver hematite, I, I replaced it with Labradorite. But uh, the description is on the Etsy shop. These are still available. I think I've only sold one. Um, and there will be more because I have more stones. The Lunescence, it will, there will be more. I was just I, I utterly amazed, like wow. Like Luna, girl, Luna, they bought the Lunescence up. Uh, there will be more uh, for those of you interested. Thank you guys so much uh, for supporting the Etsy shop. Um, Intuitive Chaos Kipper Ish Oracle Deck is still available. Intuitive Chaos Bye Bye Bad Vibe Energy Cleansing Salt Bath is still available. Uh, I think there might be a few, but there, there'll be more coming. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, I Kept Tarot is coming. Uh, the end of the month, maybe the mid, the middle of the month. You know? uh, we'll see. But I'm really excited about that. I know the Kipper Ish is like a great oracle because it's you know it's inspired by the Kipper, which is a great oracle. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get into it. The, the, the tarot deck was like my baby, though. The tarot deck is like I have worked. I've you know I could not draw in the beginning and I worked on each one of those cards again and again and again and again and even while the you know the kipperish was already in production the first batch I still I kept working on the, the tarot deck so um, it's my baby it's the first one I started <laughs> I did the the kipperish was supposed to come out second but I started using it on the channel and a lot of people showed interest in it so I was like okay well let me make it available so I kind of you know got that one out to you guys uh thank you guys so much for your support every single one of you that uh watch my watch my readings you guys want to see me um every single one of you that have purchased something from me every single one of you that just wishes me well you know i love you i love you a lot i tell you guys i love you because i do um uh, thank you so much for being here um any of you who give me those energetic donations those likes those comments subscribe shares thank you so much fam it's a really big help and i love you um i want to send you guys an abundance of love light healing vibes peaceful vibes gratitude protection faith everything great you're so worthy you're so deserving don't ever forget that
As always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for the collective. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.